Hello everyone, my name is Kamal, welcome back to my channel, and today I want to talk about instant photography. I think there's something really magical about instant photos, and it's something I want to share with you guys. So without further ado, let's roll the intro. Getting started, I want to divide this video into two parts. First of all, I want to talk about the more technical aspect, so the instant camera I like to use, the films I like, but also, you know, the technical process behind an actual instant photo, because I think it's pretty interesting. And the second part of the video is going to be more about the artistic aspect, so colors, you know, the aesthetic of instant photos, and also the philosophy behind it, and you know, the art of instant photography. So let's start with my instant camera of choice the Fujifilm Instax 200. Now this camera is a bit old, right? There's the 300 model nowadays, but the 100, the 200, 210, 300, they all use the Fujifilm white film, and they basically all have the same guts. It feels a bit plasticky, you know? It's like just plastic, and feels a bit hollow because there's space in it for wider cartridges, but this is the reason I use it. The Instax white film is actually really good looking, not only because of its sheer size, but also just, you know, the colors, uh, the way light is represented on it just looks so good. But again, it's mainly because of the size. I mean, Instax mini film is nice, or the other Polaroid films, they're nice. But the Instax Y just has something, I don't know, like it's in the size, in the colors. And so I really enjoy how this film looks. And this is the main reason why I like to use this camera. I have tried other instant cameras, like the uh, Polaroid uh, Snap Touch, which sucks. It's, I, I don't like this camera. I don't like the Zinc films. But I also tried like the One Step 2, and they're cool cameras, but I always find myself ending up coming back to this one just because the film just looks so damn good. And there's something really interesting about how technically a uh, photo is captured, but if I'm not mistaken, in this strip there are different chemicals, and when you take the photos after it's exposed on the actual photosensitive part, the chemical colors go in and fill in relatively on different intensities depending on how the photos was exposed and this is why it takes some time to develop because the chemicals are having different reactions all over the film and it's actually so interesting because nowadays you'd expect everything to go with like printer format you know i mean polaroid tried it didn't work out though but these i mean they look so good and this is mainly why i like this camera but let's move on to the actual interesting part the philosophy behind instant photography there's something really charming about having a photo captured and instantly printed, especially when it's in a limited quantity. You know, nowadays we have digital cameras and smartphones and we can snap as many photos as we want. And it's practical to capture as many memories as you want. But I think there's something really magical about having to pick the specific memories, the specific moments, you know. And the fact that you only get one shot at each moment because generally you have a limited amount of shots, it just makes it a bit more magical. If you want to talk about film photography in general, it's nice because you have to count your shots. But with these, it's even nicer because you get to see them a few moments after. So when you snap your photo, there's a small amount of excitement until the photo is done developing. You have the occasion to just give a photo to someone. And you know, there's something really nice about giving a picture to someone because it's capturing a specific moment and just giving it away. And what I like about the Fujifilm Instax white film is just the sheer amount of character it has. The photos have so much personality, they have a bit of bluish tint, but at the same time, they just have this softness, you know? They look clear, they look relatively sharp, but there's sort of bloom to them. They look sharp, but still soft. It's really hard to explain. And I'm going to put some on screen for you right now. I think editing Kamal should have done that. But if you're looking at them right now, they just look so magical. They look old, but don't look too old. They don't look discolored. They just have so much personality. And you can do a lot with them. For example, let's say you're shooting during the day. If you force the camera to use the flash, what it does is basically it looks like a night shot because the camera compensates since your subject is brighter. Just little tricks like these, they let you just have so much fun with the camera. And if you never tried shooting instant film, it's something I really recommend just because it's really fun. Anybody can pick it up. And it's just a nice experience of capturing moments on, you know, physical sports. And that wraps up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm trying to keep my videos short and concise. I hope you like this format. If you have any videos ideas, let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to leave a like, follow the socials and stuff. Subscribe if you actually enjoy the content and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Peace out guys.